Amelia would watch the little dark-haired boy playing quietly amidst the blossom. His sense of duty did not match his age, he always found. He was a permanent shadow surrounded by the fleeting colors of a transient nature. Again, no different from last time, the sudden unsettling of branches and bramble would precede the appearance of Fern, whose scratched nudity would step out of the woods and stop. New black ink added to this watercolor sight. Amelia felt she could see through the little boy's eyes, recognized like before the warm, reassuring smile Fern was giving him. Expect, once again, the complicit gesture that followed. An index finger taken to the lips and the glass steams up. Before she knew it, Amelia exhaled a shush herself this time. And the voice, coming from the woods, shouts, Cut! My name is Jean-Paul Simonge and this is Chamber Movements, an account of the final recorded days in a house of no memory. Chapter 1. The Harris. 